What up, what up, Salvador Brigman here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. On this channel, we love to talk about crowdfunding. And specifically today, I wanna to get into one of the websites out there which you can use when it comes to equity crowdfunding, and that is Micro Ventures. So we're gonna kind of dissect this, demystify it, pull it apart, and really explain this in kind of a no-nonsense fashion, just making it easier. You know, no, none of those complicated finance terms, really trying to break this down and make it easy to understand. If you are a founder, an entrepreneur, you have a business or you're starting a business, and you wanna raise capital for this, you can use equity crowdfunding for that now. It is now legal and um, MicroVentures is one of the websites you can do that. So I'm gonna be talking about that today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it useful, man. I hope you find it practical. I hope that you find it to be really essential information and it's coming up right after this. All right, all right, so let's get right into this. Again, my name is Salvador Brigman. I've been in the industry, the crowdfunding industry since 2012. My blog, crowdcrux.com, my podcast, Crowdfunding Demystified, available on iTunes and Spotify, my YouTube channel, my books, my courses, all that kind of stuff. I also do coaching, I also help with execution occasionally. These are many different things and ways in which I try to add value as well as my free forums and online communities and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started here. When it comes to micro ventures, this is basically a great website that's been started for a while. I believe these guys started with their investing around um, 2011 when it comes to this particular company. They've transacted over 450 million, more than 900 investment opportunities, over 200,000 investors. In addition, they've had uh, a lot of participation in some really great companies when it comes to Palantir, Airbnb, Robinhood, etc. So that being said, the first thing I want to draw your attention to, my friend, is the three ways in which you can use their services or use their website. And the first is with equity crowdfunding. Okay, so when we talk about equity crowdfunding, what we're really referring to is what's called regulation crowdfunding. OK, and this is really pioneered by the Jobs Act. OK, regulation crowdfunding is basically where you can raise money. You as an individual can actually raise money from people around the world and you can raise upwards of five million dollars in a 12 month period from what's called non accredited investors. So if you really want the skinny on that, you can go and check out this on the SEC website. Uh, just to kind of confirm here at the time I'm recording this, you have a maximum aggregate of five million uh, in a 12 month period. You could do multiple raises across that or after that. But in a 12 month period, you can raise upwards of $5 million using regulation crowdfunding. The other cool thing here is that this is, again, non-accredited investors. So those are everyday, ordinary Americans. You know, that could be your friend. That could be your family. That could be people that have worked with you in the past. That could be people on social media. You can actually broadcast this campaign using ads, using marketing, uh, which is one of the things I love doing, obviously. And you can get people around the globe, people around the United States to invest in your startup company. And before, that was not possible. You could not do what's called general solicitation, which is exactly what I described. So the first is equity crowdfunding. Again, that's regulation crowdfunding. Second is accredited investing. Accredited investing, they're typically referring to what's called a Reg D, Regulation D, or a Reg A, also known as Regulation A plus offering. Now, these are really for the big guys. These are also the way that, you know, traditionally uh, startups were funded when it comes to Reg D. So with this, this is kind of limited to basically accredited investors for the most part. These are basically institutions or individuals who are high net net worth or they qualify for this. Um, these are not your ordinary everyday people. And when it comes to regulation A, I believe it's around uh, yeah, 75 million when it comes to a 12 month period for a tier two offering and for a tier one offering upwards of $20 million when you're doing an, a reg A raise. The important thing here is that I'd say the majority of people are not doing accredited investing uh, over when it comes to you know being seeking out equity crowdfunding. Typically, you're thinking more of regulation crowdfunding, but this is a service that they offer when it comes to doing a reg D or a reg A raise. Uh, Reg A, is, Reg A is also very popular when it comes to raising money for like real estate funds and that kind of stuff, uh, for example, with Fundrise, et cetera. And lastly, there's what's called secondary trading, which is they help established companies um, sell their stock or help other kinds of institutions actually participate in private equity, basically, and being able to own size uh, shares of companies. So these are the three ways in which you're going to use their website. I kind of want a little bit more into how you actually go about raising capital and some of the things that go into that. So the first thing that you should be aware of is is that you need to apply. With these guys, you can't just you know start and create a campaign. You might with some other websites. You got to apply and you got to be approved. According to them, their sweet spot is around 150K to a million dollars in capital. They're looking for unique ideas. Who isn't, right? Who isn't looking for you know a generic business idea? They're obviously looking for unique ideas. You got to have a little bit of market traction according to their website. So this could be customers, partnerships, revenue, all those other kind of things that go into market traction. They're not just looking for ideas. 
ideas. They want to see ideas plus execution. This is different from other websites out there that I've seen that aren't necessarily requiring market traction in order to raise capital. In addition, they want a solid team with experience in their industry. So they're looking for that kind of track record when it comes to the management team or the ex executive team uh, having some kind of experience in the industry. The other thing to be aware of here is that once the application goes through, you're going to have about a six week timeline uh, from the sense that you're going to submit that application and then you're going to get some kind of a notice from them whether or not you are approved. Once you then are approved, you can launch the campaign. At the time of recording this video, you can do you know a multi-month campaign if you want to when it comes to regulation crowdfunding. Once you are fully funded and you close off that campaign, they say you should receive your funds in about two weeks. So I would say that you know this is something where you really have to get your ducks in a row. You have to get a slide deck together. You really have to have a lot of information when it comes to starting that company and really being ready to apply, which I'll go through in just a second. The other quick thing that I wanted to uh, really point out here is that this is something where people who are going to be investing in your company, in addition, are going to be kind of having an illiquid investment. So what that means is that when someone invests in your company, it's going to take them a while for them to actually be able to sell their shares. So according to the SEC, it's uh, one year that they actually have to hold them. But the average startup is probably until a liquidity event happens, which is usually selling the company or doing an IPO, it could take upwards of seven years. So this is really an illiquid investment. This is something you're going to be into for the long haul for those investors that are out there. And really, this is also something where if you have difficulty with your valuation, as you can see, you need to value your shares, uh, de determine what the valuation of your company is going to be. That's something that Micro Ventures and you are going to work on. Now, before we get more into the application, also look behind the hood when it comes to creating a user account with Micro Ventures. I did want to draw at least your attention to this one section around uh, institutional investors. So I think this is incredibly important because Micro Ventures is extremely different from other crowdfunding portals that are out there. And that's that Micro Ventures is actually what's called a broker dealer. They are a registered broker dealer, which you can see here, and a member of FINRA, which you can look up on your own, own time. FINRA is basically a part of the SEC, um, though they're independent in some ways. I believe they're a nonprofit organization. It's a financial industry regulatory authority. What a great, that's a very um, big mouthful of a name for that. But um, this is basically um, monitoring basically broker dealers. Um, they are a member of FINRA. They are a registered broker dealer. And this is different from just being a registered crowdfunding portal. So they have the ability to have certain business um, or certain ways of actually you know handling securities that other people do not have. And that leads them to be able to also kind of function almost as an investment bank. So they're not just doing equity crowdfunding. They're also working as an investment bank with VCs. Um, they're also helping with deal flow when it comes to that. And lastly, they have these other kinds of things, which are secondary transactions. So I tried to talk to a tiny bit about that earlier, but basically they are working with what are called institutional investors along with smaller businesses and smaller retail investors. Okay. Institutional investors could be really big funds. Um, they could be hedge funds, right? They could be basically any kind of um, you know pooled fund when it comes to that. It could be family offices. It could be other things when it comes to insurance, right? There are a lot of institutional types of investors that are out there. Uh, but they're willing to work with them as well to facilitate, you know, buyers and sellers when it comes to that. So I think that kind of goes beyond the scope of today's video, honestly, talking more about institutional investors. So I want this to be more aimed at you. And this is basically how do you raise capital? So there's this one application that I want to go through here. I also want to talk a little bit about what does it look like behind the hood. So let's kind of get more into those elements. Want to take all the stress out of fulfilling your Kickstarter rewards? Fulfillrate is the turnkey solution that puts product delivery on autopilot. The top campaigns use this trusted high-tech provider to store, package, and ship their products. Focus on growing your business. Leave shipping to the experts. Don't wait. Get a custom quote from FulfillRight today. Link in the description. Okay, before we get into the application, uh, let's just look behind the hood really quickly. So when you actually create an account, um, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to fill out a little bit of information. So like it says here, you don't have to be a U.S. citizen necessarily to invest on micro ventures itself, but you can indicate if you are one. Uh, you also don't necessarily have to be an accredited investor, but it's paid in every single offering, which is on micro ventures. But if you are, it, it expands the opportunities which you have. So accredited investor, you know, someone who has uh, over $1 million, excluding your home 
also over 200K when it comes to the last two years, but to at least make uh, 200K this year. You can go through some of these qualifications on your own. So if you are an accredited investor, you can check this. You can also check this when it comes to being a US citizen and also some of the industries which you're interested in. So for example, I am interested in real estate. I love real estate, man. I'm also interested in education technology because I do have an education company. I'm also interested in media entertainment because I also have a media arm of my company. So those are some of the things I'd be interested in. Once you actually open up your account, you can come here and you can kind of see some of the different types of offerings which are available here. So for example, you can go and you can look at some of the offerings. Um, you can look at watch list. You can also go through their education if you wanted to, which honestly I was a little bit underwhelmed with when it came to the education. Uh, so right now, at the time I'm recording this video, these guys have four opportunities on their platform. To be honest, just being very candid here, I did expect them to actually have more regulation crowdfunding offerings than just these four. However, they're also not the biggest equity crowdfunding platform out there when it comes to the industry. So let's take a really quick look just so you can guys can see some of these different regulation crowdfunding offerings, which are now raising money on their website. So you can see here, these are all Reg CF. They're all accepting investments going from medical devices, healthcare, financial services, e-commerce. These are just a couple of the different regulation crowdfunding uh, offerings that are here. Um, there is a process that goes into actually creating a regulation crowdfunding campaign. So I talk a lot about this in my free course, which I will link up at the end of this video. I also help one-on-one -on -one when it comes to coaching. I also help when it comes to execution uh, for select companies that are out there that I really align with. And this is something that to me is just a marketing exercise. And it's also really about understanding what gets people to take action. So for example, when it comes to My Life Well, which is a holistic uh, health and wellness platform, this is one of the companies which is now raising capital on micro ventures, minimum investment of a hundred bucks. I'm not going to get too much into this. this is just for education. And I don't want to reveal all of this information, right? Uh, when it comes to this, you really have to go through this on your own time. Looks like so far they've attracted around 26K when it comes to this. Another is Numeric, which is a novel visualization detection device a product for thoracostopy. I'm totally butchering that. I apologize. Uh, so these guys, again, have a minimum investment of $100 or $5,000, which has been invested so far, it looks like. And you can look at the terms on your own time. In addition, there's FlexPay, which is another example of a company that is raising money. $34K, you can invest again um, upwards a minimum of 100 So this is just for education. I'm not broadcasting these or marketing these in any kind of way, nor am I being compensated. I'm just kind of like sharing this as a tutorial. So you have an idea of some of the different campaigns right now that are live, the types of companies, um, at least the numbers here. Let's look also about some information. So if we were to go through this, I'm just going to put down some dummy information here. When you're filling out this, you really want to be comprehensive, obviously. You want to get into um, you know, what it is that your company does, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see if I'm going gonna, gonna to put my, my email here. If you guys do want to want to contact me, uh, my website, crowdcrux.com. So we're just going to put in some, some dummy information here click continue. So let's see uh, some of the other information. So first of all, you'd be selecting the stage of development. So whether it's startup, early stage, if you're expanding in your later stage, the amount of money, which you're really going after. So we're going to say 300 K. I'm some of the previous funding. I'm just going to, this is again, this is false information. This is not real at all. I'm just literally just putting this, this information in here. Uh, so if we wanted to put some more information, we're going to go through here. So this would be any traction, revenue partnerships. Uh, I do think you should be extensive in listing this out. It's just going to really improve your application. The more traction, action you have, the more appetite there is when it comes to an investor being interested because you're no longer just an idea. If you have terms already thinking about the valuation, thinking about what you're going to do for a priced round, this would also be a great opportunity. And in addition, the number one thing, the number one thing you are going to need is a really great pitch deck. Okay. So reach out to me if you want to learn more about that, but you need a good pitch deck. Okay. So we're going to continue here. Yeah. And it's actually, it's even something that's required. So let me see if I can uh, put in something here just so we can see what's next. Okay. And lastly, um, after filling out that information, like we talked about with the pitch deck, with the potential terms, with the type of company, the stage of company, all those different things on um, your traction, you're also going to put out any more information. And lastly, how, if you want to, how you heard about micro ventures. So according to them, less than 5% of the companies that submit it are actually um, approved or actually chosen when it comes to being able to list on the platform for various reasons, I assume, when it comes to their due diligence team. So I would be um, very diligent in providing quality information just to show that you are legitimate, that you're in business or that you're growing or that this is something beyond idea stage because, again, that's a requirement of this particular equity crowdfunding platform. And lastly, anything that you think was going to really bolster your image and your credibility. Remember, like most things in life, this is a sales and this is a marketing exercise. Okay, so I want to just go through a couple of the quick pros 
and cons when it comes to this equity crowdfunding website, this broker dealer, which is Micro Ventures, and whether or not I think this is a good opportunity for you and who should actually get involved when it comes to Micro Ventures. So first of all, you know, you can look more into this on your own time. Uh, these guys, it does look like they're actually founded in 2009. I think it's the first investors around 2011, which was, I also found on their website. So to me, they have a very established team. They have really great relationships. It seems like when it comes to potential investors that are out there, particularly in a larger scale. And in addition, they've worked with companies in order to raise capital. You can also go and you can look through more information here when it comes to uh, FINRA and actually see that they are a registered and approved broker dealer and look more into that if you want to on your own time. You can also look more into uh, this organization, Securities Investor Protection Corporation, if you want to learn more about that. Okay, so I want to talk about some of the pros and the cons when it comes to micro ventures. So micro ventures, to me, uh, is a great opportunity for some people out there, but it's not for others. So I'm going to you know, provide some of my own opinion here. So first of all, they're incredibly solid company, in my opinion. They have a great um, team that's working at micro ventures. If you look more into that, they have many uh, portfolio opportunities in the past when it comes to big companies like Slack, Lyft, Uber, etc. To me, and this is again, just my personal uh, opinion. I do think that because micro ventures uh, does have a strong background, you know, having started in 2009, having lots of great relationships when it comes to institutional investors, when it comes to the venture capital industry, um, and really what they're trying to do here is kind of, in my opinion, bring that more online. So they merge crowdfunding, what they said, with the venture capital industry. They're kind of almost like an investment bank in some ways. And really, they're I think they're very good when it comes to uh, due diligence and helping people raise capital from angel investors using Reg D, Reg A+, those kinds of regulations. I would say that compared to other platforms out there, they are not as far ahead when it comes to regulation crowdfunding, however. I think that they have a lot long ways to go when it comes to providing more opportunities for that. Um, and I also think that they need to do more when it comes to regulation crowdfunding. So I would say that they're a very solid platform, in my opinion. Some of the pros are very solid, long, illustrious base, um, you know, serving in this industry. They do have a lot of great uh, accreditations there. They obviously know what they're doing. They probably have a great Rolodex, in my opinion. They've worked with some other great companies and, and partnerships there. I would say that if you are looking to do a Regulation A plus raise, or you're looking to do a Regulation A, looking to do a, a Reg D raise or something like that with accredited investors, I think that these guys are probably a, a solid teammate uh, when it comes to that. You can look more into that in your own time. That's obviously just my opinion. What I also like about them is that they're very transparent. Uh, it looks like they also have like succession plans. They also have lots of business continuity plan, right? They have a lot of stuff they're trying to do, provide education as well to people that are out there. They're just kind of getting started. So I do think that they have um, some good information out there, right? And they're also warning people about, for example, the lack of liquidity, et cetera. On the con side, really was not impressed with the number of regulation crowdfunding uh, deals or opportunities which they have on their site. I also think that their design of those particular campaigns could be much better, which I didn't really get into too much in this video just because I didn't want to disclose all that information, right? And it is something where you need to create an account. I'm just doing this for more of an educational basis. Another con I would say is that I don't think they have nearly enough information out there when it comes to how to be successful with one of these regulation crowdfunding raises. I also think they could be way more highlighting some of the companies out there that they are working with and, and probably doing other things when it comes to the marketing side with regulation crowdfunding. So I would unfortunately not be willing to recommend them when it comes to doing a regulation crowdfunding campaign. However, I would recommend them uh, personally with my opinion for a Reg D or a Reg A. I do think it's, it's interesting to look into that services. That being said, you never know. Hopefully with my video and hopefully with some of the other content I'm putting out there on YouTube, more people will discover equity crowdfunding portals and platforms like micro ventures, decide to raise money or decide they like working with the team. And hopefully as a whole industry, we will see a rising tide of more people launching uh, equity crowdfunding campaigns. So first of all, if you are interested in learning more, I got a great free course out there, um, an equity crowdfunding course, which you can check out at crowdcrux.com slash equity course. I'm going to include a link as well down below. If you want to learn more about equity crowdfunding, if you want to get into that, I also have a book as well, Equity Crowdfunding Explained. You can get an audible version of that book, which I will link up down below or a paperback version if you want to. A lot of great information that I try to put out there as well on my YouTube channel. The final thing that I'll leave you with is that to me, this is really one of the um, one of the platforms out there 
there, which you can obviously use to raise capital. But also, this is this, in my opinion, is one of the easiest times in the history of the planet, in the history of our world, in the history of our human civilization to raise capital. Micro Ventures is one example of someone who's trying to democratize funding, trying to bring venture capital investing for everyone, making these private market investments available to other people around the world through what is now regulation crowdfunding, equity crowdfunding, bringing this to the globe. So I pass them on the back. I admire the heck out of them for what they're doing. I think they have a great, you know, solid operation and I do wish them the best. However, I think that for anyone out there um, who really wants to raise capital, who really wants to grow a company, uh, who has, you know, a little bit together, whether that's an idea stage, whether that's something more along the lines, you have some traction, uh, you're already in business, you're in operations. This is the best time, in my opinion, to build a crowd, to capitalize on that, to do an equity crowdfunding raise. And like the website says, you can do this multiple times over the next couple of years and you don't even necessarily have to get VCs involved if you don't want to. So go and look at about this more on your own time. I hope you enjoyed today's video and the way that I kind of explain this and try to break this down for you. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let other people know. But if not, sorry about that. I hope you like some of my other content. My name is again, Salvador Brigman. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.